God. Tell me, just tell me, tell me how you live it, how you get it, how you live it, how you get it. What's up, guys? So I love my Insure bike. I still ride it once or twice a month. I did have to replace the seat. Um, I had to get two new tires because they blew out, and I had to get a new chain installed because the chain uh, loosened up uh, from all the riding. I like this bike so much, I was thinking about getting another one, but I remember I actually had a manual bike uh, that folds. What I bought um, a year or so ago was an Orcan FT20 folding bike. Orcan or Orcan? I think it's Orcan. Well, you said Orcan the first time. I did? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> This bike, it folds, but it's not electric at all. Um, it's a great ride, uh, to be honest. It had great shocks and stuff like that. So I figured instead of trying to buy a new Anshare bike, uh, why don't I try to convert this bike to an electric bike? And plus, I only spent $100 for this bike, so I'm trying to get off cheap because I'm cheap. Bruh. So what I bought off eBay was a front wheel um, electric bike conversion kit. So basically what this is supposed to do is be able to replace the front wheel of this bike and make it so that I can uh, ride this bike electronically. I've never done this before. We're going to do it for the first time. We're going to go through all the steps and then I'm going to do a test ride at the end to see if I can convert this to my own and share bike and get off cheap. Because I'm cheap. Bruh. Alright, so it looks like this is everything it comes with. It looks like it comes with a charger, a battery, uh, which is what he just lifted up there. Um, something that you can use to put your cell phone on. Right there, so you know. On your bike, yep. which is cold. Instructions, you which are pretty clear. Look at look at those instructions. Really clear. Oh. They're not in black and white and faded like the Ann Shear was. <laughs> um, some nuts and bolts, it looks like, to put it together. A wrench. Um, a speed shifter. Um, here. Look. It comes with a speed shifter, too. Uh, look like it also identifies um, how the how good the battery is doing, whether it's full, half, or empty. Um, so it doesn't look like it's going to be too hard to put together. Oh, and I believe the motor is built into the wheel itself. So we're going to be replacing this wheel with the front wheel that's on the bike now. One thing I want to mention, um, this uh, kit does display that it comes with a variety of hectagon wrenches. Um, it really only came with one, uh, one hectagon wrench. And the wrench actually didn't, uh, was not uh, suitable for a lot of the parts of the kit. For example, the gear shifter, I had to use my own hectagon wrench. Luckily, I had a, a drill with different types of heads, one of the heads. I had a hectagon. All right, so I took this part off of my handlebar. It was here. I took that off. I'm gonna uh, put this gearbox, gear shifter on here. Uh, here. And again, it didn't come with the right wrench needed to tighten this up. So I, luckily I had one. So I'm gonna come up, pull this down, go to the wrench here, figure out where I want it. I want it to baby be like right here. Clean it up just a little bit there. Oh, that's pretty.
So go ahead and put the battery in. So the battery was actually really difficult to put in. Uh, we actually had to lay the bike sideways, put all our body weight on the motor to get it to go into the front tire. And you should hear somewhat of a snap. If you don't hear the snap, then the uh, battery is not in the wheel correctly. You'll know that it's in there correctly because you'll see these lights start shining. Also, the way this bike works, you do have to give it a bit of a push and then you use this here. See this lever here? You use this lever to go. So on my end shear bike, uh, you, you, you accelerate using the handlebar, but on this front wheel um, electric bike, you don't. You use this lever here that's up under the, the uh, switch box here. It has a cell phone um, holder, and the cell phone holder actually has a charger. So you can charge up your cell phone. You can connect this to the actual motor here. You see this? There's a USB that you can use to connect your motor to your cell phone so that you can uh, charge up your cell phone while you're riding. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, my boy Tayo, um, he did most of the work uh, putting this bike together, to be honest. So what was the, uh, what was the hardest part putting this bike together? Uh, the hardest part would be putting the wheel on okay. and getting everything as far as like that situated right there with uh -huh. the with the screws, the nuts, the bolts, and the washer right there. If I did it again, it won't take as long. How long do you think it would take you to put it together if you were to do it again? Uh, less than an hour. Less than an hour? Yeah, it's just, you know. Okay. Uh, what did you think of the instructions that it came with? Um, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did, you use the, did you use the instructions at all? No, I didn't, I didn't use the instructions. It didn't help at all? I just, I just figured it out on my own. So basically, you think those instructions are trash? Yes. <laughs> So we're going to let this bike charge up a bit. We're going to let the, mo the motor charge. And it did come with a charger here. So you have to uh, take the motor out of the front wheel, attach it to this charger. We're going to let it charge and then we're going to give it a ride um, to see how it rides outside. All right, so we're about to take this bike for a test ride. Um, so to cut this on, again, uh, if you come close to here. To cut this on, I'm just going to press this button here. And again, I have the battery connected to the wheel there. And unlike the end shear, I need to either push or pedal. And then at that point, this is gonna be my throttle to let me know how fast I'm going. All right, so I'm gonna pedal, and then I'm gonna push this throttle down, and then I'm just gonna do a circle. You all see how fast I'm going. And then we're gonna ride all throughout the neighborhood. All right, here we go. That's a good pushing that. I thought I was gonna go maybe like five, six miles an hour. Felt like I might have been going, if I really wanted to, I could go about 10. So I'm gonna take a ride throughout the neighborhood and uh, see just how fast this thing goes. Here we go. really makes me go here. Makes me go here, see? I think I'm going about 15 miles an hour. Uh, no faster than that though. And I have the five throttle on full speed here. So I'm going about 15 miles an hour, not bad.
All right, so um, we successfully converted my folding bike, that which was $100, to an electric bike. And we did that using a kit that I spent $270 on. Damn, so total, I spent about $370, $375 to convert it. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll leave the link in the description below to the kit that I purchased. I'll also leave a link to the bike that I purchased, the folding bike that I got for like $100. So I created my own Anshir bike for about $370 because I'm cheap. Comment below, let me know what you think I should review next. If you have an electric bike that you want me to review, uh, let me know. Um, you can send me the bike. You'll have to pay for the shipping cost. I'll review it and then I'll send it back to you. Um, or if there's any product that you want me to review, uh, let me know. Send me the product. I'll review it. And if you want, I'll send it back. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Peace.